Hello from future me. Uh, <laughs> so this is obviously a long overdue video and I'm sorry, but a lot of stuff has happened over the past month. One of my cats passed away, which was very, very hard on me and still is hard on me. So it, I just really didn't have the motivation to edit and do all the things. So that's why this video is so late. I promise new content is coming back next week to kick off I guess February it'll be February next week so thank you for your patience I'm so sorry thank you for watching this video I know that 2020 feels like it was about six years ago at this point and this is probably irrelevant but I still love all these products they're still favorite products of mine I'm not gonna do a January favorites because obvious reasons so yeah thanks so much for being here I'm super sorry this is so late and I'll see you soon. Hello, welcome to part three, the final installment of my 2020 favorite. So if you haven't watched the previous two, the way that I'm doing it this year is I have challenged myself to come up with my top 10 products in each category that I've made videos on, which so far have been skincare and makeup. And this one is about to be body care and hair care. As if you didn't already know that from the title, you did click on this video. <laughs> so actually, and this was very surprising to me, but this was the hardest one for me to um, narrow down. I have really fallen in love with hair care this year. I've always loved hair care. I've always loved taking care of my hair, but this year I've discovered so many great hair care things. Some are definitely still like staples from years past, but a lot of this stuff is newer to me that I just discovered this year and it was so difficult for me to narrow this all down. So I do have a couple of honorable mentions beyond my top 10. So before I jump in, I do wanna say my hair type is dry. My hair is obviously chemically treated. This is not my natural hair color. I have very dry, very fine, but thick hair. I have a lot of hair, but it is a very fine texture. It's very limp, very noodly. It has no body on its own. So I rely a lot on texturing products, styling products. So yeah, let's just jump in. Coming in at number 10 is a body care product and this is actually sadly the only body care product in this video. It's the Flamingo Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It's from Target. It's very, very affordable and it is so good. It's so good. I can't describe a scent to save my life so I'm gonna spare you that trauma. It smells very good. <laughs> but it's just really moisturizing. It absorbs into the skin really, really easily. It's honestly like my dream lotion. It's very affordable but it works really well and it keeps my skin really hydrated. P.S. I have really, really dry body skin. Like really dry. It gets really itchy and irritated and meh. And this works wonders for me and it's really affordable. How many times am I gonna say that? I love this. Coming in at number nine is the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm from IGK Hair. This again, it smells incredible. I can tell you that this does have a hint of coconut in it, so I can identify that. I can't tell you anything beyond that. It smells like a beach, but this is a really beautiful hair balm. It leaves my ends feeling soft and supple and not at all broken or hay-like. It's just a very smoothing, sealing product, and it's very lightweight, so it doesn't weigh my fine hair down, and I just love it. I love it. I'm almost out. I'm so close to being out. It's taunting. See, look how, look how thin. We'll definitely have to repurchase. Coming in at number eight is a heat protectant. This is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Heat and UV Protective Primer. I use this on wet hair, dry hair, you name it, I will use it on my hair. I do heat style my hair often, and as my hair is chemically treated, it is more prone to damage. So I always, always, if I'm putting heat on my hair, I am using copious amounts of heat protectant. It is the key to minimizing damage to your hair. If you have uh, damaged hair or hair that is more susceptible to damage, you 1000% need to be leaning on a heat protectant. And I prefer one in this Mr. Type format because it is easier to use on dry hair. So if you've got like a, an oil or something, it's less easy to spread through the whole hair. Whereas with something like this, you can spray it on your wet hair, comb it through. You can spray it on your dry hair, comb it through, let it dry before you style your hair. That is just how I do it. But anyway, this is one of my favorites. I feel like it works really well. It doesn't create that stickiness issue. Like if you're say flat ironing your hair, it doesn't have like a catch. It glides through, it dries down on the hair in like what I would call an even coat. I don't feel like my hair has incurred very much damage since I've been using this. I am very, 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 very 
uh, protective over my hair, which is why I use so much heat protectant. And I do feel like it has paid off. I feel like my hair is as healthy as it possibly could be, but I haven't had my hair cut in over a year. Like I've had my hair colored twice, maybe three times this year, but I haven't had a trim at all. I haven't had any length cut off my hair in over a year. And I feel like that says something for how I treat my hair because every time I go in, I'm like, if it needs something cut off, if I've got damage at the ends, cut it off. And each time she's been like, no, nope, you're good. Maybe next time. So I feel like a lot of that is a testament to the heat protectants I use. And this has been my favorite one. Coming in at number seven is a very, very grubby Amika hair drying brush. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at, at cleaning hair brushing things, but this is so good. Now, again, I'm going to touch on a, a, what I just talked about with heat damage. Your hair is the most vulnerable when it's wet. So if you are using heat styling tools on your hair when it's wet, you need to make sure one, that your hair is not sopping wet, that it's just damp. Um, you need to let your hair either air dry for an hour or so, or very, very well towel dry it and at least let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes before you use any type of heat on it at all. Um, second, you need to make sure that you are using a lot of heat protectant, like a lot of heat protectant. You think you've used enough, use more, right? That is the best way to protect your hair because you can use heat styling tools without like causing your hair to literally fall off your head. You just need to be smart about it. And those are two very easy tips to make sure that you are not incurring more damage than you need to. That being said, I do trust Amika's hot tools, especially to be more intelligent and more protective in terms of the technology that they use. And while I haven't used other hair drying brushes, I have not noticed this quote unquote, frying my hair at all. I was very apprehensive because I've heard so many people say that other hair drying brushes have literally ruined their hair. And so I'm not like typically a blow dryer because I'm terrible at it and my hair always looks more frizzy when I'm done. So when I got this, I was nervous, but honestly, my hair has never looked shinier, smoother, silkier than it does when I use this. And if you use it appropriately, if you use it right, if you use it in the correct manner and you take all the necessary precautions, your hair shouldn't look or feel fried, right? I think this is amazing. It makes me look like I have a blowout every single time I use it, which is incredible because I literally cannot maneuver a round brush and a blow dryer like to save my life. I can't maybe on the front two pieces, you know, but my arms get tired and I'm just like, okay, I can't. But with this, it doesn't take very long. If your hair's not sopping wet, obviously don't do this. Don't use this on sopping wet hair. If your hair is just damp, it doesn't take very long to dry the hair and it just leaves you with a really sleek blowout. That being said, some people can curl their hair with this. I have not managed to do that. I don't know if it's because I'm just lack the capability, but I, I will continue to try. Maybe my hair is not long enough yet. I don't know, but I love this regardless. Number six is Amika's Silken Up Dry Conditioner. So I use this frequently to add some shine, add some life back into the lengths of my hair. So this is a product that's kind of like a foil maybe to dry shampoo. Like dry shampoo is intended to absorb your oil, whereas this is intended to kind of add a little bit back. It's most appropriate for people who have drier hair or dry lengths. You don't wanna use this on the roots of your hair and I never do. I tend to have oily roots, but I have really dry lengths. This is just something that I use to refresh everything. It really brings life back to my locks. <laughs> Throughout the wash cycle, like, you know, I'll wash my hair and around day four, day five, my hair starts to look really dull, really dead. Like it needs some life put back into it. And that's what I use dry conditioner for. Coming in at number five is the, is the back of this bottle, is the Way Super Dry Shampoo Barreto uh, Collab, the Mojave Ghost. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this still exists. I hope that it does because it honestly is so good. Now I'm gonna have a little caveat here and say that I do think that this is a good dry shampoo. I don't think that it's like the best dry shampoo in the world. Like 90% of the reason that this is in this placement and this is in this list to be fair is because of the scent. It smells intoxicating. It is literally the best smelling thing. It smells so good. It smells incredible. And the scent does linger, like lingers, lingers. So if you don't like your hair to be fragrant or you don't like being fragrant, just period, you might hate this. Now, I personally 
love this. It, the scent doesn't bother me at all. It's a really beautiful scent. And obviously like the dry shampoo part, like that's good. It does work well. I do like it. I actually have used the uh, regularly scented one and I did really like that as well. But I'm, I'm mainly here for the scent. I almost use this. I almost use this as a hair perfume though. I do use it as a dry shampoo, you know, but yeah, I hope that was clear. That probably wasn't clear. This might not be available anymore. It was limited edition initially, but I hope they bring it back if it's not back already. Number four is the Kristen S hair water. So this is a weird product. This is a product that I had seen, but I never knew how to use it. I was like hair water. What is hair water? But I figured it out. Uh, the instructions aren't like, I, I don't know. The, the instructions on the back of the bottle are a lot more clear than like what's available online in my opinion. But this is basically like a style refresher. So I have really dry hair and I often will style my hair and expect that style to last me seven days. And this is something that has helped me achieve that. So this helps me rehydrate my hair, refresh my style. Uh, I tend to wear my hair in a bun at night. So it helps me remove the kink from my bun if I have one, uh, it helps to just kind of calm my hair down, smooth it down. It just, it's beautiful. It's super affordable. It's a product that is definitely not something that I feel like everyone will want, but if you're someone that expects your styles to last a long time, especially if you're someone that has really dry hair that wants their styles to maintain because they don't like washing their hair unnecessarily, you should try this. It's great. I use it probably three or four times a week uh, in the mornings just to refresh my hair, either to rehydrate it before I kind of refresh my style or to just kind of calm down what craziness has occurred on my head overnight. It's just a really great product. Again, I say it's a little confusing, but once you get the hang of it, I love it. I love it. Number three is the Bust Your Brass line from Amika. Mainly these two, or namely these two, the shampoo and the conditioner. I use these all the time, if not every wash, every other wash to maintain the tone of my blonde and just to keep my hair looking vibrant. I love them. They're not drying. They don't leave my hair feeling stripped or like straw. They're just really effective and they're really nice for my hair. I have made full videos about those Amika products before. Oh, and by the way, I am an Amika ambassador and you can get a discount on their products, including the hair drying brush. If you use my code, which I'll add here and I'll also list it down below if you're interested. Number two, I only have one piece of, but it's the BB, BB? Bumble and Bumble BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. So I don't have full sizes of these yet. I want full sizes, but I need to work my way through some hair care before I get there. But this is the most impressive shampoo and conditioner I've used in a really, really long time. I'm, I'm searching with my eyes for the shampoo because I know I still have it. I just don't know where it is, but I can't see it. So anyway, I have really dry hair and this is such a hydrating line. It's incredible. It really does leave my hair feeling smooth, supple, hydrated, beautiful, really lightweight, but it's really hydrating. It smells incredible. It's honestly an enigma. I've never used a shampoo and conditioner and been so immediately impressed with how smooth and silky my hair looks, especially because I have such dry hair. So that's why this is number two. I can't wait to get full sizes of both of them. Coming in at number one is the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. And half the reason why this occupies this spot is because this is my most repurchased product ever. And it's something that I do not tire of. I've been using this for years, probably 10 years, literally 10 years. And I go through bottle after bottle and I never hesitate with repurchasing. I don't try a ton of other hairsprays because I've just been burned so many times in the past with like crunchy hairsprays and hairsprays that make me look like my hair is a helmet and all that stuff. I always turn to this one. I never even question it because it, it's so good. It has great hold, but it's really flexible. It does exactly what I want it to do. It is, it is the perfect hairspray for me. I love it. Okay, I had to do some honorable mentions. So this has been my dry shampoo of the year, the BB Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder. It is a, a style refresher, a volumizer, a dry shampoo all in one. It is so, so good. And it has such a light and pleasant scent. Uh, next is the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Fine Hair Styler. This is an air drying cream. It's really, really nice 
nice. It gives my hair a little bit of texture, a little bit of body. When I have none naturally, it just gives me a better canvas to start with when my hair is air dried or just enables me to not heat style my hair at all. It's really, really nice. This is a, a mini. They have a bigger version. And last is the Dyson Corral. I can't reasonably include this in my, um, in my actual favorites video because I haven't had it long enough. I've only used it a couple of times, but I really love it. And that's all I'll say because I'm probably going to review it, but I do really love it. It's how I curled this hair like four days ago. And I'm, I really love it. I love that it's cordless. I have literally like flat ironed through cords of flat iron. <sighs> okay, that's it. That's, that's, that's the end. That's the end of the favorites. This is the last one I filmed, probably the last one I'll post. But yeah, 2020, what a year. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about it. But I hope that you found the good in this year. I hope that you and your family are well. And I hope that you found some joy in superfluous things like hair care and skincare the way that I have. I've really found a haven in that world this year and it's really been a joyful spot for me. So I'm really grateful and I'm grateful that you are here watching this video. Thank you so much. I would love to hear about some of your favorite hair care products down below. I would really love to hear about some of your favorite body care products below because I'm clearly slacking in that realm. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Happy, happy, happy new year.